Hello everyone, this is Man Faces with a quick, awesome Fallout 4 tip. So, if you guys notice, Wasteland Workshop was recently released and it came with power doors. And they were kind of for the arena. And it was made so that you could separate the settlers before the battle and then open the door so that they could see each other and then just go ham. Well, I found another use for them, namely as power doors. And it's a little bit tricky to wire up, but it's not really that hard. And basically, I'm good to go. And if you notice, it closed itself. Yeah, see, that's important. And then we also have this one right here. Good to go. Now, this is my survival character, but he's kind of the one who wanted it just because it was fun. And he wanted, you know, a secret base. This is my hangman's loft or the base bones of it. I haven't even come close to finishing it just been too busy but I got a small tutorial coming up after this that'll show you how to get these set up in your own base okay so we're gonna go ahead and start the power door tutorial and it doesn't really cost any perks to be able to make the basic design only if you want to refine the way the door opens will it cost you a perk and it's only in hacker so most of us already have that Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've already set everything up. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need your power door. Okay, it comes with its own connector, which is good. We'll get to that a little bit later. Okay, you're going to need a way to open the door. So you're going to need a switch. Uh, for the portion that's inside of my base, I've been going with these pressure plates. That way I can just step on it and go through the door. Okay. You're also going to need a delayed off switch. Now, what this does is that it's going to keep the door open for like half a second and it's going to give you enough time to get through it and then the door is going to close. Now, you're, you're saying, uh, what's the point? Because, you know, I could slip through with the pressure plate. And you're right, you could, but how do you get back in? So that brings us to this side, which we're going to get to in a second because it gets a little more complicated. Okay, so let's get started on the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from our power source. I just put this here for convenience that way to just, just to show that you can clean up the build a little bit. Because this is a power conduit I put here. This is the one for the door. So uh, it just makes it so that you can keep your power clean. Okay, so now I'm going to run it to the pressure plate. Pressure plate has power. Good. Okay, now I could just run it to the door. And then it works. But then automatically when you step off of it, it doesn't work. And... Sometimes you need a little bit of extra time, sometimes a companion, sometimes you hit it wrong. I found that I just hook it up to the delay switch and then the delay switch to the door. And see, you get just a little bit more time. Honestly, the delay switch doesn't matter too much over there, but over here, essential. Okay, so if you want to get inside of your base, the number one thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get you a power conduit connected to power on the outside of your base now there are a number of ways you can do that I think Mark Jackson talked about a double mat trick I'm pretty sure something like that would work or maybe like what I did at my hangman's alley is I had just a fraction of a gap and that usually works for me or through a window that's the easiest way but once you do that it's pretty much the same setup so go from here to power from power to your delay switch and your delay switch uh, to the door okay so now that we have this all we have to do is uh, hit our delay switch and you see it closes the door for us if you don't have this let's say you just didn't want uh, the delay switch and you just wanted to go on ahead and run the switch to the power door Honestly, I don't even think you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can. You can. Yeah, see, it's always open, and then you can't close it from this side. You'd have to toggle the switch off. Now I have to go through the arduous trouble of getting it off. Okay, so now that we have our powered doors working properly, 
there's only one other thing we can do to try to tweak the setup that I know of right now but I'm still working on them so what you can come over here and do is you can hook up a terminal to each of your delay switches okay and then you're gonna come in here use the terminal and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna select your select your door open delay and what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the doors open for as long as you tell them to open it really helps with companions because you know how they can be and even if they'll just glitch through the wall that's what they do so what I'm gonna do I have to remove the, ter the terminal <laughs> the simplest things there And then you'll get a full five seconds before the doors close. Ooh. And then it should work both ways. We'll go through Snuggle. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Man Faces. I hope you guys enjoyed the Powered Doors tutorial. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more fun. Take care, everyone.